Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very mild May day we're doing a quick walk around video on this freshly arrived 2019 Auto Trail Imala 734. So Auto Trail, one of Britain's biggest, oldest motor caravan um, manufacturers, specialise in luxury coach builds. Imala is their mid-range offering, but it's uh, got all the hallmarks of, uh, of a top of the range van, uh, but at a slightly more realistic price point. So the 734 is a uh, quite a rare layout. It's got low fixed rear single beds which is not something you see from a lot of manufacturers but it sells very well so you get a, uh, a decent night's sleep and you can both get up without disturbing your partner so let's have a little look at the uh, window sheet on this one so it's a 2019 Order Trail and Amala 734. This one is uh, particularly unusual because it's been specced up with the optional um, travelling seats and over cab bed so it's a four stroke five berth with four seat belts this one we put it down as a gross vehicle weight of three and a half i think it might be plated at 3650 this one but they are available at three and a half and we should be able to downplate it if you haven't got a c1 on your driving license subject to uh, how much it weighs so we'll we'll leave that one open so she's based on the fitch Cato 2.3 turbo diesel six speed manual um done 4,000 miles this one it's 7.25 meters long 2.35 uh, wide and because it's got the over cab bed option it's 3.03 high although I believe they are actually the same body shell whether you go for the over cab bed option or not so looking resplendent in its iron grey cab uh, with real smart graphics uh, lovely condition this one so very rare over cab bed and seat belts don't see that in many Amalas that was a, uh, a special order factory build option that you don't tend to see it's got the wind out awning Fiamma awning factory fitted on the outside still got its original order trail umbrella uh, in the door there you got a fly screen door double glazed windows all the way around there's some uh, under bed storage access there for your chairs and table and whatnot coming around to the back we've got a rear tow bar which is handy as you can uh, put a bike rack on that so you can have a nice secure bike rack uh, uh, bike carrying capabilities another rear storage locker there and a high level factory fitted reversing camera this one's got factory nav with the uh, camera built into it as well coming around to the off side we've got an external something Let's see what that is that's an external gas barbecue point probably on the wrong side of the van but it's got one anyway uh, gas locker there for um, twin gas bottles you'll get two sixes in there it's got a gas load filler in it um, I dare say that might have been left with it but that's locked up so there could be some expensive refillable gas bottles in there which is handy so you can fill them up at an LPG uh, filling point gentlemen who had this changed to a van with a gas tank so you may well have left that system on I can also see on the roof there a grommet up there which makes me think yeah it's got factory solar panel on the roof as well there or a solar panel may not have been factory fitted Mains hook up, uh, leisure battery and vents for your three-way fridge freezer there. Let's have a little look at the, uh, the cab spec. So it's the 130 multi-jet engine. We've got Remes Concertina cab lines on the front and side. Steering wheel controls for your... Uh, oh, it hasn't got sat-nav. No, take that back on the sat-nav front. So it's got a uh, uh, mirror-mounted reversing camera monitor up there air conditioning and cruise control and a Bluetooth stereo system with steering wheel controls. You've also got, as we'll see from the inside, a, a drop down Avtex television as well. So body works all fine, missing a wheel trim there. I think we pinched that for another one actually, so that will obviously be replaced when it goes out. But yeah, all in good condition. Needs a clean obviously, this one's just come in. So we've got centrally locked habitation door with a fly screen. And then you come into a half dinette lounge so these normally have twin sofas which are nice but you can't carry any passengers on them so this one's got the uh, cost upgrade seat belt option and then the large over cab bed as well with a nice skylight above it so that will just slide out to there to make a double bed uh, this will turn into a bed downstairs as well you can slide that across drop the table down so you can have big single bed there double bed there and then your uh, nice comfy fixed twin singles in the uh, the bedroom area that's your large 
flip down Avtex TV, which is all nicely integrated. So that will obviously come up out of the way. Very, very smart. Concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows. Nice curved cabinet work on the Amalas. Up there you'll see your Sergeant uh, electric on the control system, which your circuit breakers and fuses and things, your battery charger built in there, along with the uh, solar panel charge regulator for the panel that's on the roof. We've got Truma gas and electric digitally controlled blown air heating from there and a nice easy to use control panel, uh, nice and simple, just with a button for every job, which is fantastic. Kitchen's really good. This is a very stereotypically English van. So you've got a really, really good kitchen. Under counter three-way fridge freezer. Nice deep sink. I like these uh, bank of power sockets there that can just be pushed down out of the way. And then we've got a proper oven with a separate grill. Three gas burners and one handy mains electric one for when you're on mains hookup. As well as a, a microwave up top there. You've got an opening window and a two-way fan which will suck in air uh, for a bit of uh, air flow and it will also extract for when you're cooking as well. Pl plenty of cupboard space in the kitchen, really really good. And then you go through to your bedroom, you've got a concertina screen to shut off the bedroom and two really nice comfortable single beds which uh, by the look of it I think you can lift the uh, lift the backrest up on them. Let's have a look. Oh, it's split. Oh, maybe you can't. No, you can't lift the backrest up, but it's split for access to your storage. You can see some of your externally accessed storage underneath of there. That'll be similar on the other side. In fact, this one's all empty. So you've got really, really good storage down that side. And then a massive wardrobe in the middle there. Now, I believe on these, you can turn it into a double bed, can you? So, I don't know if those will drop in here or quite what that's about. More high level storage cupboard there, ugly bit of wood where the previous owners had a rear TV fitted or a screen of some sort. It's not actually a TV point back here so I'm not quite sure what he had screwed into there but I'm sure we can take that off and tidy it up a bit. And you've actually got TV point over on, the, over on that side. Into the bathroom, nice bathroom, good size separate shower space there, basin and a high level storage cupboard big opening window and an opening skylight as well so plenty of airflow so this is our 4000 mile 2019 auto trail imala 734 uh, it's only on 4000 miles uh, it'll clean up pretty much as new uh, it's got the very rare seat belt option and the overcab bed option so this is in stock with us now at highbridge caravans devon branch we're just off the a38 um South Devon Expressway. Any questions, contact us through the Highbridge website or give us a call at Highbridge Motomes Devon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.